the organization of the off White House copies continues out the back. Someday soon, this bench and this bench will be fitted together and the marathon autographing session will begin. I had hoped to have that underway uh, as well as signing the um, prints and bonus prints for um, service archive number three uh, before the eight weeks of physiotherapy came to an end. Uh, but that's just not going to be in the cards. Two hours a day without the wrist brace on. Trying to push that up to maybe two and a half hours, three hours. Uh, definitely still getting pain. Right here, specifically, Guyon's Canal, the Ulnar Canal Tunnel. Um, anatomical term, term for the canal containing the, containing the ulnar artery and ulnar nerve. Uh, right here at the at the base of your pinky. The best current guess, and it is just a guess, uh, because the physiotherapy isn't taking the pain away, that what it is is a tear of the triangular fibrocartilage complex, which you can see right here. Um, that's the TFCC. Possibly that or possibly damage to the meniscus. Gesundheit. Uh, a disc of cartilage found in some joints serving to adapt the articular surfaces to each other. Uh, you have one meniscus in your wrist and two meniscuses in your knee. So the next logical step is ultrasound digital imaging. And I've done a fair amount of thinking about this because it looked like that's where we were going. Uh, ultrasound digital imaging is computer-based. And anything having to do with a computer, you want the most modern computer possible, right? Uh, same reason that uh, nobody wants to buy a rotary dial iPhone. So the problem as I see it is that uh, in Canada a physiotherapist uh, can't call for a um, uh, ultrasound digital imaging. Um, so what I think we need to do now, and I'm hoping to get as much participation on this as possible, is for some of you to do as much research online as possible as to where the most modern um, ultrasound digital imaging is being done in upstate New York. Uh, Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, uh, Tonawanda, uh, Niagara Falls, New York, uh, any place that there's a clinic or whatever that has 2015 um, digital imaging available. You walk in off of the street, you make, an, or you make an appointment, you walk in off of the street, you get the ultrasound shot on 2015 camera, and you walk out with a disc or a jump drive that's got uh, the digital imaging on it. We just don't have anything like that in Ontario. Or maybe we do. I don't know. It's a very strange country. I know uh, uh, Quebec has uh, clinics that uh, you can go into and just pay for medical coverage, but that's because they're Quebec. Quebec can do whatever they want because Canada ne can never say no to Quebec about anything. Uh, there used to be clinics in Ontario, but I don't know if there are clinics in Ontario 
and they're certainly not going to publicize them, that you can just walk in off of the street and get uh, an ultrasound image done um, on your visa card, or actually the Aardvark Manaheim visa card. So, to me, the most important thing is the most modern equipment possible, and what's the closest location where you can go and pay to have that done. I don't know how you find that. I don't, I, apart from actually phoning clinics in your area and saying, can you tell me um, what year your um, uh, digital imaging camera was taken? Or MRI, the possibility has come up, maybe it needs an MRI. In either instance, you always want the most modern computer equipment possible. Or maybe you don't. Maybe uh, there was this incredible advance in digital imaging uh, back in 2010 and all digital imaging since then has been absolutely perfect. So as long as it's 2010 or more recent, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> I don't know. I hate this stuff. I really, really, really don't like computers. And every time I turn around, whether it's uh, trying to get the negatives converted or whatever else, here I am having to make life and death decisions based on computers. It's enough to drive a guy around the bend. It really is. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, at this point in my life, Work is just something that I do in between my prayer times. Um, it's all interesting work. It all has to do with Cerebus or it has to do with uh, the strange death of Alex Raymond. Uh, I can't draw right now. Uh, okay, I can't draw right now. Not much you can do about it. Um, so I'm writing, basically. Writing and road mapping strange death of Alex Raymond. Uh, getting very, very proficient at uh, typing with my left hand. Uh, if I can never draw again, I can never draw again. I, I will be perfectly happy uh, doing the roadmap of the strange death of Alex Raymond, coming to the end of that, whenever that would be, a year from now, two years from now, and just saying, well, uh, hand's still no good, still uh, Still, still can't draw, so uh, I'm going to go off and do something else. Uh, like I say, it's just stuff to do in between my prayer times. But I am aware that there are people who definitely want me not to just roadmap the strange death of Alex Raymond and script it, but actually draw it. Uh, in that case, if you can help with this and uh, Try to find the best possible uh, ultrasound digital imaging in upstate New York and let me know where it is that I can go to, uh, to get uh, a di digital image done. Uh, I'll be happy to take a day off or a couple of days off and go down and get it done. And then, if we get to that point, uh, it should get pretty interesting because what I picture doing with the ultrasound digital image is posting it right here to uh, a moment of Cerebus and anybody can download it who wants to download it and can take it to anybody that they think uh, is either a surgeon or uh, an acupuncturist or whoever else and say what do you think's wrong with this guy's hand and what do you think needs to be done about it and uh, we'll get them to post whatever it is their best diagnosis is, again, here at a moment of service. And um, just put them all in a row. Get uh, everybody to uh, email their best response to Tim W. and uh, Bill Ardbark Vanaheim. I'm not talking about getting a freebie from uh, professionals in the medical field. And uh, We'll see. Okay, does everybody agree with, with what's wrong with this guy's right wrist? Um, and if they disagree, what do they disagree about? And what do they think needs to be done about it? 
I have to say that I do think that whatever it is, it's a microscopic spot um, that that's where I have to tilt my hand and put the tiniest, tiniest pen point on the paper to get those tiny, tiny little Al Williamson, Neil Adams, Alex Raymond lines to come out of the pen. Uh, I've had the physiotherapists and other people tell me about people that they've treated who play guitar and they just taught themselves to play guitar a little bit differently and then eventually they could go back to the original way of playing guitar. <laughs> I don't really know how to say uh, a guitar string compared to a Hunt 102 pen nib is about the size of a horse's leg. Uh, I think we're talking about something really, really, really tiny, which is why I would like to have the best ultrasound digital imaging done, uh, assuming that as with everything else to do with computers, the more advanced the computer, the more finely detailed it is, so that you can actually see as clearly as possible, okay, what's wrong in there? and where is it and how big is it and I pretty much guarantee you it's not going to be um, the, si the size of a guitar string or even going ex more extreme than that you know people who are treating baseball players it's a baseball bat <laughs> it's not a Hunt 102 pen nib I don't mean to pull fine-tuned rank on people but uh, if it's my wrist that's at stake, uh, I'd rather just leave it the way it is than have it treated as if uh, a Hunt 102 is the same thing as a baseball bat. No offense against baseball players. Okay, really boring weekly update this week, but uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, see if we can make it a little more exciting. And uh, right now, I got some more left-handed typing to do. <laughs>